Hey there, Fastus here. I'm sorry for the delay in guards, but uh, after some requests from a few people about guards on building for mobile, I'm going to do a, a have a look at uh, building for the Android for the kit. I'm not going to look at uh, iOS or iPhone. It's a whole different kettle of fish, and I don't even have one to test. So we'll stick with Android builds for this guide. Now, there's a few uh, aspects that you might order to be aware of but underneath your init scene in your game instance um, sort of near the bottom somewhere you will see uh, playing in editor test in editor mode Now by default that's set to standalone if we change that to mobile and we run our scene or run our game we will be able to see the user interface as the mobile interface and do testing without having to build now um, I've done a bit of testing for building and it takes quite a while, 10-15 minutes on my machine to build so you really want to do a lot of stuff in the editor this way. Now what I mean by, or what this means by test in editor mode mobile is by default your UI scenes or your user interface uses UI scene gameplay prefab. Um, if you change it to mobile it will use UI scene gameplay mobile prefab being this prefab here. Um, it's designed for a mobile screen. Um, these are the buttons you'll all eventually need to change for your game. The UI mobile layout with uh, WASD mover which is your stick. Uh, attacks and actions and buttons all need to be changed but uh, this is something you would have done anyway if you're looking at targeting PCs but your target for mobile is Canvas Gameplay Mobile in this case. Now an issue you might come across uh, we'll just save, issue you might have come across um, is the player character controller now if we have a look at that we'll see that what I've currently got it set as controller mode point and click now the mobile thumb doesn't work if it's set to point and click it either needs to be set to WASD or both and we need to save it so um, if we just have a look at that as a as a test, single player start game, and there's our interface. And we can move our character using the thumbstick, pick up, attack, use attacks. Um, it all works pretty nicely. This is all just generic default kit stuff, really, apart from changing these icons. This is all pretty standard for a, uh, I guess, third person, first person type game. That's fine for testing. You can test the interface, test the game, make sure that our functionality works. But when we finally come around to um, building it, normally we would have PC and Mac Linux standalone ticked. This little icon, unity icon, means that that is the selected target build. And When you come into this for the first time you'll probably see a screen like this. It'll say Android, no Android platform module loaded, install with Unity Hub. It's worthwhile doing that, uh, just clicking that button. That will run the Unity Hub and do an install. Now if you go into, so my target um, version that I'm running is 2023-12 uh, so if we have a look at this version go to add modules this is what you'll probably see initially Android build support is disabled or not actually installed um, if you click this button install with Unity Hub for an Android it'll install Android build support it won't install those two and nothing will work it'll just install this. You need to install all three for it to work. Uh, it's a bit annoying. I would have thought it would have done it on its own but it didn't. So if you have a look under my Android build for the project uh, for the uh, module Unity version I'm using you'll see all three installed. It needs all three to actually compile properly. And then once it's compiled properly um, you can click on Android and this button on Android will say switch platform and it will switch from PC to Android and it takes quite a while, five, ten minutes or something like that. So these settings you'll sort of need to learn a bit more about your development platform. Yeah, there's a bit of information if you look um, 
have a look online on Unity about this, what these mean. These depend on the target operating system or the target version of the operating system you're using. Um, this fallback is in cases that the operating system doesn't support one of the original textures. Exporting projects gets a bit very complicated from there. You're building app bundles for Google Play. That's the new app bundle, app bundle that Google Play supports. Your run device, um, development builds, patches, etc. Most of this stuff I didn't really worry too much about. It very much depends on what target platform you're working on. If we have a look under um, player settings, which I was really hoping wasn't going to take 15 minutes to load, um, you would have normally just had this settings for PC and Macs. So you'll now get a new tab, uh, PC and um, Linux, sorry, a new tab and with a lot of interesting rubbish in it. Um, again, all of this really depends on what you're trying to target. These are all the defaults with one exception. By default, this builds for an ARM64. Um, it's, I had issues even getting this running, even the tooltip says not supported on mono. Um, the, the default device here that it supports, is, it doesn't support ARM64, so I changed this to ARM7 to get it up and running. Um, everything else works just by out of the box, but generally I found I had to change from 64 to ARM7. And the other big issue is it won't work. It'll complain when you initially start and trying to build. It'll complain you password doesn't match. It's a bit of a strange thing, but what that means is uh, you don't have a key, development key. And all of the stuff is provided by Google, but um, by default, this is kind of what it looks like when you get into it. And you can go off and create keys and uh, dedicated locations and you know passwords and what have you use your un use your Google key that's been provided or initially while you're trying to get this stuff sorted and you don't have your keys just turn that off and your application will be signed with a debug key and then everything will work happily so that will be the um, sort of the second issue um, any issues with these keys complaining about the JDK being installed uh, means that you haven't got OpenJDK installed here so the things that complain about it attempting to create a key without JDK installed will complain about it attempting to build without JDK, uh, JDK installed will complain about it so they're the two places that I noticed uh, but anyway disabling that custom key and then you can click build which takes an awful long time, about 15 minutes. I think I just wandered off and let it do it. And that'll produce an APK, um, which you're going to want to then run, obviously. Uh, now, I um, huh, can't quite remember where I put all this stuff. Android, there we go. So we've built ourselves an MMORPG APK, and you can upload that for your USB key or USB cable onto your mobile phone to try it. Um, your phones are all different but generally you'll have to set uh, run unsigned APKs and things like that. The other thing is you can do is install a virtual um, test program or a virtual uh, SDK, virtual um, uh, Android kit. I think I've installed Bluestacks. I'll put a link down the bottom and essentially you can just double click on it and run our latest MMORPG kit in a nice um, emulator. Um, character I created earlier and immediately you will discover there are differences now in the Unity editor right, holding the right mouse button down forward and back is zoom in and out. That doesn't work here I still haven't figured out how to zoom in and out. I'm not sure what the key commands are. But other than that, the game works reasonably well. Except for very... Whoops. What's hitting me? Okay, I want to hit that. Oh, well, anyway. I'm not very good at that. So, 
that gives you a functional APK. You can test it on your phones, ship it out to your friends, test it in a virtual emulator. Um, and it uh, works reasonably well. I haven't had any issues. So BlueStacks, I'll give you a link down below. And I'll put in the, the basically the... Uh, I think there's a few links I've got uh, for... Well, for things like the, on the Unity page, the texture compression, what all this stuff means, there's a very good link for that in the Unity uh, documentation. And there is, I think I've got a bit of uh, a few links on setting up your key store manager, but most of that you can just Google. And, and um, as I said, generally this you're going to need to get all this stuff from from Google. You'll get something with a password if you create a a new one. Um, you need this passwords organization names, aliases, all the rest of the stuff. And you can create that you know, manually or just use the debug version. Either one will work fine for you. Um, I don't know that I have much more I can say about this. I said I know nothing about uh, iPhones and I couldn't test them myself anyway. But if anyone's got any specific questions, let me know and I'll see if I can work it out. Have a good one. Cheers.